previously. Honey, I'm home. And now back to the video. What's going on guys? Kaiser's here and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Now in the last episode we had a little trip to our school festival and we now know that our boy Akechi is going to be making a guest appearance. So in today's episode is supposedly his speech or whatever that he's going to be giving at the school so we're just going to see what he has to say about us phantom thieves so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed today's video well then we will now begin today's panel Alrighty. our guest of honor is goro akechi the boy I feel kind of bad, considering how many people have gathered. <laughs> I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? Mm, no, we'd take you any day. We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. Mm. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. <laughs> How much do you think he knows? I'm assuming he knows a lot. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. <laughs> Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Oh boy. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. I'm sure she will. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. <laughs> well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. Well, that's good. They haven't gone that far yet. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I just realized, look at Akechi's left hand. What is it resting on? It's above the table. <laughs> I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. <laughs> Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Yeah. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. <laughs> it's size traits rub it off on her. Uh, excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. <laughs> but won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. Yep, she wants the truth. She's pelting him with questions. <laughs> Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Yeah. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. Yeah, we never killed anybody. And if... This is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't oh. possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Yep. He found out. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. It would only make sense, because we did drag him into Okumura's palace, remember? But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Oh, God. He's gotta be bluffing. Yeah? I'm down. <laughs> He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... Yep. You're not going to ask me who they are? <laughs> on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. Oh God. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. Yikes. 
the truth. <laughs> What's he planning on saying? You're right as hell. It's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. Oh, I'd boy. like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! <laughs> Don't call oh. her that. There's no way he could have any evidence. Thank God Would you that. mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? Whew. I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. Dodge we'll the resume there. the panel in 10 minutes. <laughs> Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? <laughs> Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Oh boy, yep. Did you set this up? <laughs> we only have ten minutes, you know. Smart man. He found us out. What do you want to talk about? Yep. <gasps> We dragged him into the palace, it only makes sense. That's gotta be shocked! Yeah? I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too, yes? You can too? Yeah, us too. It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. Huh. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? He has it too. I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Damn. Dude, it's the nav. Yep. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Hmm. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. Yep, and about a month ago, that's when we went to Okumura's. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Oh? I'll take your silence as confirmation. <laughs> In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. Sorry, my boy. We didn't kill anyone. Yeah, we never murdered her dad. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. He saw the black mask? For real? <laughs> Always Who was real. it? <laughs> I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Yep. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone yep. else moving about, besides all of you. That's the black mask. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's the guy who killed Okumura. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. Well, thank God for that. This guy has a persona too? <laughs> this cat. Oh. Nice going. I swear, it just talked. <laughs> Morgana, well. our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Yep. Really? This is unbelievable. Yep, it's a crazy world. But it is true that you know things that I don't. 
say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? Yup. I experienced that world too, but I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. Mm -hmm. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Yep. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Hmm. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Hmm. Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. Yeah, that black mess. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? That sucks. I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Yeah, man, we can't let Which that happen. That's precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? What do you have in mind? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. Okay. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. No, my boy, don't sell us out. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. Yeah, well, we can't do anything. We have no choice but to accept. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Jeez. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? Yep. The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. Jeez. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. Yeah, all that pressure, that's gonna break her eventually. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. What? Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. Oh. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. So you're telling me the second we get arrested, she's just gonna make up a lie that'll put us in jail regardless of evidence? Make it up? What? So, they're gonna make it all our fault, just cause they feel like it? Wow. We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Jeez, Louise. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. Damn. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What? What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I see. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. I know, but we still have to think well, on what to do. you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. <laughs> I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. <laughs> I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today, for various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? Aww. The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. <laughs> Damn it! He had complete control over us! They're going. Ooh, 
what's happening. What? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. I won't tell what happened. So, I truly apologize about this. So I'm not gonna spoil it. But I'll have to end things here today. Aww. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation. Oh boy. But I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Oh boy. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? We've been cornered. Unfortunately, Haru, we have no choice. He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Yep. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. Yep. So what? We'll just accept his deal? We have no choice. He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Yeah, we have to go along with him. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. Yeah. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? Relax. What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. Yeah. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. Yep. We need to give this a lot of thought. Yeah. We gotta think on what to do now that he's... has us around his finger pretty much. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Whose calling card is that? Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like oh. this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. Oh boy. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... But there weren't any calling cards until Kamashita. What the hell? I knew it. She's... Oh god. Taba may be in huge trouble, as well as us. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Oh? Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. I did too. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Alrighty. Huh? Hey, Kasumi. Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Um... I was about to head out. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was... I mean, no one really invited us. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? Oh! Okay. People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. Alrighty. Let's go to this party. I guess. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Yeah. Let's get in there, senpai. <laughs> what? Did you drag us into that? It's time for your favorite shoji tradition. Oh boy. The student sharing special. What? Sharing special. But before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all. Yeah? What's the surprise? Members of the dance club, come on down. Oh boy. My God. <laughs> Okay. Now everybody, join in! Don't fall behind the dance club. Right, My god. <laughs> Just standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Yeah? Senpai, let's do it! I want hold on. It's showtime, yeah, that sounds like something Joker would say. Oh, she's getting into it, dude. Look at her. <laughs> Is Joker thinking about dancing? 
Oh. Hey! <laughs> Look at him go! Very impressive, senpai. <laughs> She's our son, right? The first year? Yup. We've got a little favor to ask you. Don't drag her behind the back and do something. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just okay. wait here and watch what happens. Oh? Okay. It's a little animated thing. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Smite, for ruining the freaking immersion. Huh? God damn it. Yo, who's that? Huh? Look at her go! like so elegant with it. <laughs> nice. That's crazy. Yeah, no kidding. She was like taking her hand out so um, Joker could dance with her. I left the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. Damn! That was so exhausting, but what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Yeah. <laughs> Great as I expected. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, that dance was amazing. Oh. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, look at her blushing. Uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Alrighty. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Eh, no worries. Um, uh, you want us to walk you home? Just gonna go. Thank you. I'll be all right though. Okay. The post festival party was so much fun, especially with you. Huh? See you soon. Alrighty. A little bow, yep. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. The gym's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to head home. Post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? Why didn't the post-festival party just happen? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So, I could use a change of pace. How about it? Looks like I received some messages. You want to go to the post-festival party to try to calm down? We can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. So I'm still pretty pissed, though. Well, Mishima's here with me. You should join us. Hmm. Let's go with Ryuji Mishima. Sorry, Haru. But it'll make us... It'll make up for, um... Abandoning them at the, uh... Hawaii trip. So let's go see the boys. Alright, that was a great performance by the dance club! <laughs> Everybody give them another round of applause! Yep. That sucked. What? And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition! The student sharing Oh god. Round of applause, everyone! <laughs> They're 
doing this again? Oh, God. All right. Who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? Over here. Over here. Oh, God. This guy's got something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is this guy? Oh. I can't seem to find him. Oh, well. Uh, Blondie, step on up here. We Uh, what? That's what you get for ratting him out. <laughs> Good luck. For real? <laughs> come, come! Everyone's waiting! Damn it! That's what you get. And what is your name? Sakamoto. <laughs> Sounds so depressed. Ah, <laughs> you look like someone filled to the brim with pent up anger towards society. Yeah? Anyway, on with the show! What would you like to share with us today, Sakamoto-kun? <laughs> Sakamoto-kun? Oh god. Uh... Uh... Yeah, he can't think of anything on the spot huh? like that. <laughs> What's this? Our Sakamoto-kun may look tough, but it turns out he has a nasty case of stage fright. Oh yeah. Here, I'll give you a question. Oh? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? Oh. Huh? Oh? <laughs> Man, he's going into the kill. We're all dying to know what Akechi-kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Sakamoto-kun? Just make a lie, man. Just say uh, they're not. Well, uh... <laughs> Yuji's in trouble. He may accidentally spill the beans about the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, knowing him, probably. I need to change the subject. So, uh... uh you know... <laughs> <laughs> you have a girlfriend? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who would be interested in that? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> you over there. Yes. Would you like to join in? I mean, yeah. Why not? Oh, hell yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> well then, come on up. Guess that's what we get for stepping in. But better him ah, not spilling the beans. Uh, let's just go someone I like. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> what are you gonna say? What should I shout? I love on Makoto. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> For the meme, let's just go I love Yusuke. <laughs> Oh, in that case... No, you idiot! No one knows us, and this mood is getting way too weird. Come on, just quit it, please. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Do you have... anything? Um, no. Unfortunately, I do not. Well, uh, I guess that's the end of that. Let's move on to the next person, shall we? Let's give him a nice round of applause! Yep. <laughs> You're welcome, Ryuji. We busted you out of that. Sakamoto-kun. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you're just a big chicken, huh? Yeah? I'm gonna kill you if you don't shut it! <laughs> you missed that shy, Ryuji. <laughs> <laughs> no! I, I can't stop laughing! <laughs> Dude. That's what you get. By the way, I would have been totally effed if you hadn't said something. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. You mean you were nervous? But you're the brilliant Sakamoto kun! <laughs> My god. Damn it! I'm going home! <laughs> <laughs> Smack him already. Oh yeah, uh, this ain't really the best way of thanking you, but uh, here. Take this. But there's nothing in your hand. <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Ryuji Dog. <laughs> We're knee deep in shit dealing with a catchy, and he gets to just laugh his ass off. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. Yeah. Later. Yep. 
Oh, wait, Saga. <laughs> My God. My God, Mishima. Here's something else you do that. Welcome home. You, you took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Yeah, we hung out with Kasumi and then the boys, Ryuji and Mishima. Sorry Itaba? about that. What are you doing here in front of the store? Yeah. And shouldn't you be inside getting warm? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not uh. just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. Yeah. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Alrighty. Oh, wait. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. Oh boy, we're about to have a little talk with Sojuro, No we? countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves. The sorry state of the police. Destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? Yeah, but there's no evidence. And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. So he's doing what he wants to do. He's gonna break her. Well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. Oh boy, yep, yeah, he's gonna break her. But sir... Yep. I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this oh for God. a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest... I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Yep. He's doing oh. exactly what he wanted to do. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Everything is proceeding as planned. Yep. <laughs> oh, Sai's gonna break. Oh god. We're home! Yeah, you can see the calling card in his hand. Oh god. Sojiro? Mm -mm. I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. You went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Oh no. Is it something to get flustered over? Uh, yeah. I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Oh my god. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean... It was memorable. Oh. Explain. Oh, God. Explain. Oh, God, she's gonna break. Can't tell me? Explain. Come on, we gotta get in there. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... Yep. Yeah, we'll explain everything, Sojuro. It's okay. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. Yeah, but we can explain. We can help her. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> oh, don't 
Don't cry, please. I'll buy it. Ever since Mom died, I... there was n no exit. Aww. I was trapped in in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Oh, Futaba. Here, sit down. Oh, I can at least go. listen to what you have to say. Oh. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Stop crying, please. Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> it's okay. At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. Aww. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. Huh. It's around that time that I got to know her. Aww. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Aww. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. Oh, Sojiro, you didn't know. But... It happened, exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. Oh, Sojiro? There's something I want to ask you. Oh boy. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? Um. You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Mm. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? Yep. And then, there's Futaba. Well, there was Makoto too, but yeah. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Oh, God. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? Oh god. That's not true! I asked them! Oh? That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Oh god. Asked? Stole? It's okay, you were under pressure. Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Well, it wasn't just me, it was a bunch of other friends as well. It, wait, he doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? Eh, funny you say that. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Yeah, we're actually the leader. <sighs> this is no joke, Sojiro. Are you serious? Yep. You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, God. Sojiro! 
So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? Yup. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. Mm-hmm. What the hell? We're sorry. I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Oh. Wait. It killed? Yep. She was killed. Mental shutdown. I... Remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Oh, God. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Yeah. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! Come on, Sojiro. When she passed away, I did think it was odd. Yeah. It was awfully fishy. Yep. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. Oh, Sojiro, don't say that. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. Yeah, it's nowhere near your fault. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. <laughs> and I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? No, what? It's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. Yeah. I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, who would believe such a story? Um... <clears throat> well, with the way things are going now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would believe that. Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Yeah? Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Um... Yeah, what do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba... then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? Don't worry, we got this. We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. <laughs> Alrighty. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Yeah, no shit. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Yeah? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> See, even her arms are like floating on the table. Like, what? What? He knows everything. You gotta be fucking kidding. Ryuji said it. He said the F word. He's never had that opportunity until now. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? He likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Akira was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recom recommend you turn yourself in, did he? No. I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by a mental shutdown. The same method as by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't boss say you had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Someone very powerful. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then who... Or who... Oh my god. Then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. Oh yeah. We're at war here, and it's a war that we are going to win. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. 
It's okay. It's so late already. Is Sojuro still awake? This is kind of awkward. Um, you could sleep on the sofa that's right there if you want. Hey, wait! Wait, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, Futaba, take the bed, we'll go on the sofa. I'm gonna go home. You sure? Okay. Aww. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. Oh. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Most wanted? What? And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Oh. Oh boy. Look. What? Oh. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. What? And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Yeah, the reward money will be nuts. supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. <laughs> mm. That's pretty insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Yeah. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Yep. Why did this happen? <sighs> we didn't know it would even end up I this see. way. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. Oh, so Jerome. All I can do now is give you shelter. That's more than enough. Don't worry. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Yep. <laughs> we know. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. Oh, you With run this, in piece of shit. the phantom thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Now people are gonna go wild for that money. You made me in trouble. We're wanted now. Yep. 30 million yen is on our head. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? Hmm. <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. Yep. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. <laughs> I'm positive now. Yeah. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. Yep. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. Mm -hmm. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. Yeah. Set up since the beginning. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? What? We've been to their palace. We've seen what they've done to people. They were corrupt. No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Yeah. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Yeah. All of them were. Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap. It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. Yep. 
That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. Don't you even start fighting, you two, And there please. was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. Stop. Right now. We don't need to fight with each other. All Get I could sad. think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... No, Haru, it's not your fault. Stop blaming Haru? yourself. Yeah. It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Oh my god. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Oh my god, calm down. Ryuji! Home. Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Hey. What do you think? How did we lose? Didn't what did lose. we do wrong? We didn't do anything wrong. He just baited us. We fell for it. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Yeah. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah. That really is it. Yeah. So far, everything we've done up to Medjit was to target Kor like corrupted criminals, then come Medjit, Ukumra, and then we lost it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong, but our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. Yeah. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. All of us want to do something. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. Yeah. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Yeah, no kidding. Are we really a match for this? Mm, sure we Should are. we end this now? Hell no. I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, let's turn this around. We'll spring back harder. Yeah. Hmm. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. Exactly. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. Yep. I see. Hmm. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Yeah. Absolutely not like this. Yep, we gotta fight back and retaliate. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Hey, Ryuji. Um, about me yelling earlier, mm. being framed and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. Yeah. I lost it. I'm sorry. It's all right. We know how you, you feel. You too. Yep. It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Mm-hmm. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. Oh, you've changed. We had our whole confidant story with you. You've changed. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. Hmm. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. Oh, I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. Ryuji? Yeah, things will turn around for the better of us. You're right. Hmm. I can start by changing who I am now. Oh yeah. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. 
No problem. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. Yeah. See ya. Alrighty. See you later, my man. I got a message from Akechi-kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is, trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? Yeah, we'll manage somehow. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our peace anymore. Or our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. We'll see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. Yep. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Right. We need to relax, take a deep breath, and we have to talk with Akechi okay. tomorrow. So, the next episode, we are going to have a team meeting with Akechi here in the Blonde. He wants us to all get together and talk with him, so we might have to hear what he has to say. And we also have to decide on what we want to do with him because he got evidence on us. So we might have to be forced to working with him in order to, like he said, discover the truth. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So that way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next episode. Peace.